to right field. Nice play by Eaton. Throw to first, not in time. He's off the bat. Got the out there, and over at third, there are two runners in the same spot. Just run him right back to the bag and come home with it. That's exactly what you do. Saladino to Navarro. Fielders caught. Frazier the tag. It's a triple play for the Sox. Base is loaded. Base is clean. Segura goes. Pitches outside. Throw to second. Not in time. Segura with a stolen base. Oh, what a nice throw by Castillo. And Greg walks him. First and second with nobody out. Cubs are set up to turn a double play. And Segura takes off, and he is going to be picked off. And Braun able to get to second base, but Segura is out. Wait a minute. He tagged Segura. Segura left the bag. And Segura's going to well, first Well, you can't base. swap places. No, he absolutely cannot. Well, they were both at second base, and the guy that originally had second base yep. is going to be safe. Now, Braun's out. Now, Segura's at first base. He can keep going backwards, can he? <laughs> I mean, Braun's eliminated from the play at that point. Right. And the old saying is you can't steal first. You can't go backwards. I think he just did. He's got to run here. And he goes. And he goes. And the throw to second. <laughs> and he's out. So the first time he tried to steal second, he was safe. The second time, he's out. And Michael will hit it off the end of the bat and get some great carry to it. And that ball hits the top of the wall. It is in play. Uh-oh. Now we've got a backup on the bases. Michael Morse heading back to first. He's going to be tagged out. We got to look at a replay and see where that ball hit. That ball appeared to hit the top of the wall, bounce off the back wall, and it was called in play by the umpires, and this is going to be reviewed. All right, let's check it out. Right side of your screen. That's a home run. That is a home run. That's a home run. No, there's some clapping going on in the dugout. Sean Burnett. Grand clapping. slam. It's a grand slam for Michael Morse. I don't know why they had to explain everything to the dugout. I think they're trying to determine did any runners pass each other on the bases. Well it's irrelevant because it was a home run. But I think if you hit a home run and you pass somebody up on the bases There's, they want to make sure Michael Morse touches all the bases. This is awesome. He's running backwards to touch all the bases <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Michael Morse does he got to go back in the batter's box. And then and then you could say see you later. Look at this. I've never seen this before in my life. This is unbelievable. There's got to be a reason why the umpires are doing this. <laughs> Michael's saying, do I have to swing again? <laughs> Look at it. you got to make a call here on the pitch, don't you? There it goes. <laughs> are you kidding me? Right field. It is deep. <laughs> See you later. Grand slam. The Nationals are on top by four. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. To him. He was getting out of the way. Giorbe made it like it was nothing. At UW, big time. His number retired on the outfield wall of that field. No swing, says Quinn. Oh, Walk out. out. How about that? Posey just threw the ball in the glove, and Peavy wasn't looking. Wow. Now he looks away, and watch, he's looking at the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't you can't do that. We because they're thinking it's gonna hit Peavy right in the head. And Spen swings and fouls it back. You see what Joe Mauer just did? Watch this. So save to run on a wild pitch. Watch this, folks. The bricks here at Nats Park. Joe, catch this without looking, please. Thanks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. 
And Guillen drives it to center field and deep. Fowler going back, and this one's off the top of the wall. That's in play. Guillen going to third base, and he'll get a stop sign there. Well, Dexter Fowler gave it his best effort all the way out. He gets up at third base with a triple. Up, oh, you can see Spielberg's whistling. Yeah, Dexter's gloves over into the fence. They need somebody to go get it. He can't play without it, George. No, that's you're exactly right. Here you go. Let's take another look at it. Fastball that stayed up out over the plate. Excuse me, slider at 88 miles an hour. Here's Dexter going to go up and try to get it. The glove. Oh no, my glove. Hits off the wall, hits Dexter, ricochets over. Then you have coverage coming. Let's watch there. He's checking the wall, checking the wall. Now he's going to jump. As he goes up to try to make a catch on this baseball, good effort. But he's, now he's going to try to grip the wall to keep from having a face plant. And he's close at center field. No, Dexter, you're not going to crawl down in there, are you? Are you going to get back oh out? Oh, my God. Now I've seen it all. Now I have seen it all in a big league ballpark. <laughs> that, we've gone Little League. The ball, the glove went over the fence. Don't worry, I'll go get it. And there's oh, the glove. There's the ball. He's still balls up the fence. hopefully Dexter can jump up on the other. Yeah, here comes Dex. Folks, you're going to be seeing this <laughs> for weeks. The best two pitches of the day. Struck out Young with that one. There's a beach ball on the field. Wind's blowing in, Bryce. <laughs> Step on it, pop it, stick it in your back pocket. There is a stiff breeze coming straight in from center field here. High pop, and this one's headed toward the catwalk. I think it's up there. It hit it. Did it no. Hit it? Never came down, did it? It's up there. I think it's, it's stuck. Up there. It's stuck. Wind. <laughs> Look at that. The sky is falling. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was deep. He thought he had a, a beat on it. One thing. Bird loses the bat. He broke it. He broke the bat. How did that, he break the bat? <laughs> <laughs> that bat <laughs> had to be broken. It must have, right? No, you've seen the size of his forearms. Yeah, but that, he, he, he really didn't check. It was a little bit of a check swing, yeah. wasn't it? Jim Rice did that once on a check swing. He just said, I'm, I'm just too strong. I no, 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 no. No, <laughs> that bat broke on the swing, right? Yeah. It wasn't a check swing. The, the inertia, the momentum of the swing broke that bat. And took over at third base for Wilmer Florence. <laughs> well, the boys in the audio room. Yeah, that's on you. It's it happens. You can tell he's talking to the. Wow. That knock. The players are coming off the field whether they want them to or not. Yeah. The f Holy Warner. cow. Willingham at first base went down on all fours. I don't blame him. Wow. That knocked me down. That thing came out of nowhere. Sure did. My goodness. So we're going to have a, a delay here, more of lightning and safety right now than anything. And Chuck Morgan's suggestion is being heated by the folks in the upper deck. The 2 2. Got a piece of it. Good, got a good piece of it and, and actually had a very good swing. Oh, look at this. There go the sprinklers. The sprinklers have fired just on the. Infield, but Pedro, soaking wet, has to walk right through it. Okay, he's trying to pitch back at him. Back on that ball. <laughs> the cutter came off the ball. That's one of the oldest phrases in baseball. He knocked the cover off the ball. He literally hit the cover off the baseball. And Pedro's fielding it. What's he going to do? He's got to throw it that way. Got to throw a changeup. My yeah. goodness! Just when you think you've seen it all, you see a man literally knock the cover off the baseball. Now time is called. We've got a fan running onto the field. Hey, and Matt Diaz comes over and issues a body block and helps the security people take 
that full down. Outstanding. And a security guy yet that's in real good shape here in Philadelphia. So this guy gets blindsided by the Braves outfielder. Oh, tripping. <laughs> He's lucky that wasn't Mike Curtis clotheslining him. And that's the only reason we're showing this idiot was to show the play by Matt Diaz. Still marveling at that swing he made to Gomez take on that slider. Look at that. Is that a catch? It's in his mask. Ball never hit the ground on a foul tip, two strikes. I think there's Velcro on his mask. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Watch this. Foul tip. I got it. <laughs> and I'm going to keep my eye on the ball. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. When will it end? When the season's over. <laughs> and maybe not even then. Look at that. Did that. Uh, did that break something on his mask? Something well, sparks. Some, something flew off that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've seen it all now. Nubbed. Down the third base line. Pena hoping it goes back there and it does. Swisher's going to be out. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, that is terrible for Nick Swisher. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful, Brian Pena. Swisher's going to hear about this. I think it'd be the, the vaunted Giants rotation. Allowed oh, the most. That's a, that's a balk. The most uh, home runs. Now you get check on. Let's go make sure he's okay. Well, and that's the second time tonight that he's had a problem with his footing. It's not the mound, it's just catching his cleat. And uh, a, a sartorial issue here. There, there's the team name, Chicago Cubs, so it does work. It's got the right color. Yeah, it's gray. Maybe uh, maybe there was a something went wrong with his other one. Missing a button or something. Two homers in as many days, five on the season, and there's a drive toward right field. Turner Ward going over, makes a great diving catch, and we lost Turner Ward. He goes up and through the wall, apparently. Run scores on the sacrifice fly, and Ward appears hurt, and obviously, because as we said, we lost him. It was a uh, great possibly he went through a door out there in right field, but literally he was gone. All right, Pat Venditti, it's one of the more anticipated Major League debuts. The switch pitcher. It's kind of fun. Well, the, you can see the glove. It's actually two webbings, two thumbs. And Kurt Young said it best. He's here to get out. He's yep. not here to have people wonder how he's going to be able to do all these things. But right now it's a left-handed hitter, so... We anticipate when Ramirez comes up, he'll switch around and throw right handed. Right now, left handed to Holt. First pitch is a strike on the inside corner. You know, you see young kids come up, young kids being 21, 22, make their major league debut, but man, you fight as you have for, to your 29, and I think we have some interested people right there. In the front row. Oh, there, there's a, there's a, yeah, there, there's a group here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they're here, but those are just A's fans. And yeah. oh, now he threw out from the right side. <laughs> Ramirez That's can't right. understand what's going on. The old one pitch to Ramirez hit into left field the base hit. Kind of like maybe hit it off the end yeah. of the bat a little bit. So the Vendetti rule for ambidextrous pitchers: the pitcher must visually indicate to the umpire, batter, and runner. Which way he will begin pitching to the batter, engaging the rubber with the glove on the particular hand, which which will be the deciding factor. The batter then can choose which side of the plate he will bat from. The pitcher then has to pitch with that hand for the entire at bat. Any switch must be clearly indicated to the umpire. Nor no warm-up pitches during a change. 